What's going on everybody, I'm Jory Goodman, the Time Teller, and it's time to get hands on with the main Skymaster 38. It's 10.15 a.m., let's get down to business. This watch is powered by a top grade Salida SW510MB manual movement, which is a noteworthy choice because this is known for its accuracy and reliability, but I'm just excited that it's a manual movement at all. I mean, the romantic in me is just excited that you can unthread the crown in this case, wind it up, thread that crown back in, and then, you know, go about your merry way. It just offers a tactile connection between the watch and the wearer, and it just allows you to kind of play with the watch that much more. I think it's very, very fun from an enthusiast perspective. This watch features a box dome sapphire, which is one of the most scratch resistant and durable crystals available. The dome shape also adds a touch of vintage aesthetic while ensuring better legibility from various angles. Constructed from 316L stainless steel, the case is, you know, durable, resistant to corrosion. It makes it for a very suitable daily wear, and it offers a sleek, modern appearance along with that bracelet and its dual finishing. The links are very, very mobile. It's very comfortable on the wrist and no hair pulling, which is important for me because I am essentially a English speaking werewolf. This watch has a threaded crown and a water resistance rating of 10 atmospheres or 100 meters. So it's more than okay getting a splash here and there. Looking at the case dimensions at 38 millimeters, the case diameter is versatile, makes it suitable for a variety of wrist sizes, ensuring a balance between presence and subtlety on the wrist. You know, you want the watch to complement the man, uh, not the other way around. Bigger is not always better in this case. 13.4 millimeter case thickness, including glass and case back. Uh, it's substantial, but not overly bulky. It'll slide under a cuff, but it makes the watch feel significant without being cumbersome. Lug to lug uh, is 47 millimeters, so it ensures that the watch sits comfortably on your wrist without overhanging on smaller wrists. I suppose if it's super duper slender, uh, the lug to lug might be a bit extreme, but for most people, I think this is just fine. Jumping into the pros and cons, the first pro would have to be the movement, right? This is a Salida movement, and I'm biased, I love Salida, but I love specifically that they chose a kind of uncommon Salida. We're used to seeing SW200s uh, and automatic variants, things to compete with the NH35, but honestly, uh, them choosing an uncommon manual caliber is very, very nice, and there's some subtle decoration on the case back. It's still uh, not crazy, but nice to look at. Uh, I love that they chose a box dome sapphire, uh, I love that it is 38 millimeters, but still has a threaded crown and 100 meter water resistance rating. This is a whole lot of watch and not an enormous package, but with the good comes the bad. So the first con would have to be that although some will love the tactile connection of a manual watch, some will complain that this is a manual watch with a threaded crown. Another thing is that the uh, pushers are not threaded. That doesn't really bother me, but it's something to definitely be careful with if you are gonna go swimming with this watch. Do not depress the pushers underwater. Uh, speaking of threaded pushers, this is a clear Daytona homage, right? This is an homage to an earlier Daytona. Uh, Daytonas now have all threaded crowns and pushers, but uh, the original Daytonas did not. So uh, this is definitely still a Daytona homage. And although it's way cheaper than a Daytona, the next con is that people will complain about the just under $1,700 price tag. And my final con is that this watch needs drilled lugs. Huge missed opportunity. Uh, in conclusion, this watch beautifully combines modern materials with classic design elements. The manual movement and the domed crystal give a nostalgic feel, while the modern build offers confidence and peace of mind, something that you wouldn't mind wearing every single day. The dimensions make it versatile for various wrist sizes, and the water resistance is an added advantage for everyday wear. This watch appears to be a worthy addition to any collection, or a perfect standalone piece for the discerning enthusiast who wants a taste of the high life without the insane price tag. So guys, Guys, let me know what you think about the Skymaster 38 from Maine, and I will catch you in the next episode. Leave a comment. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I love each and every one of you. I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. Always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it.